Hello, my name is Nathan Bishop. I'm the principal for Blythe Academy Online. Welcome to this tutorial video on Brightspace for Parents. In case you weren't aware, Brightspace is the name of the learning management system that your child uses at Blythe Academy Online. Brightspace for Parents is a new feature that basically gives parents a little bit of insight into their child's progress in the course. I think this is a really handy tool, so I'm gonna show you some of the simple features uh, and how it works. Before you're taken to this screen, you will be asked to verify your email address. It will default to the email address that you input on your child's registration form, but you do have the option to update it to something different. You should also note that you will have an account for each child. Now, if you have multiple children at Byth Academy Online, uh, you will have two separate logins. This is not ideal, but it is a limitation of the system. First thing we can see here are the recent grades. We can basically see any assessment that has been submitted and graded by the teacher. So it's very important to note that you cannot see anything that has not been submitted yet. And you can also not see something that was submitted but is not yet graded. So if you're looking at this and your child has told you that they've done 10 assignments but you only see nine, uh, just double check with them that they did submit that 10th one and that this means that the teacher is still working on grading it. Uh, for your reference, the grading turnaround time should be four days. If you want to see how many assessments there are in total, you actually cannot see that here. So if you notice under upcoming work, uh, nothing shows. This will only show assessments that have due dates attached to them. Now, because we are in an asynchronous school that is completely flexible, there are no due dates, which means technically nothing is upcoming. This can be confusing as looking at the recent grades here, you really have no reference point in terms of how much of the course has been completed. So to do that, you can simply go to our main website at blytheeducation.com and go to the online section and select courses, all courses, and choose your child's course from the drop down menu on the left. And at the very bottom of the screen, you can click View Course Gradebook. This is a list of all of the weighted and non-weighted assessments in your child's course. You also get to see how much each is weighted for, which is helpful. So this is a good reference point if your child has only done two assessments in the course, and you can see that, okay, wow, there's three pages worth here, then you can you know, deduce that two out of you know, 30 isn't uh, very much, so there's a long way to go. The other option is to simply ask your child to log into their course and they can click on grades where they will actually see every single assessment in the course, whether they've done it or it's been graded or not. There are some details about this in the welcome email that you would have received. So don't worry if you didn't catch what I just said. Another thing that I should mention, um, within each course, uh, we are starting to build course pacing calculators. So these are essentially Excel sheets that allow students to put in their start date and desired completion date, and it will attach some due, rough due dates to the different assessments to help them plan out their time. Now, again, this would be accessible to your child only through their course and not through this platform. So please, if you do think there's an issue with pacing or finishing on time with your child, have them check this out. Uh, there are more details about this in the welcome email as well. If your child is taking multiple courses, you can see here that there are a few different courses. There's CHY for you. There's also something called Nathan's Sandbox. But if you click view all grades, you can see every course that your child is enrolled in, as well as their current grade if they have one. And then there's a bit of a breakdown by course if anything has been done. In this particular example, uh, Gideon has only done the one quiz versus this course where he's done a couple things. Now let's look at an assignment uh, itself. So notice that you can't actually click on any quizzes. The quiz will only show you the final grade and you can't actually review the breakdown of the questions. If you want to see that, please ask your child to log in and show you. In terms of the assignments, however, you can actually get a nice breakdown here. You can see the instructions. So these are the same instructions that would appear in your child's course. You can see the rubric. Um, which they would also have access to. You can see how your child was scored, um, what they did well, what they need to work on. You can, of course, see the final grade out of 100 or as a percentage here. You can see the feedback that was left for your child. You can actually also access the original assignment or file that your child uploaded. So if you wanted to see what kind of work they did, you could take a look at this. You could compare it to the rubric and you could see 
um, maybe how you can help them in the future or, or different areas where they could spend some time working to improve. Or if you just want to see the great work that they're doing, you can take a look. And the last thing I want to show you, if we go back to the dashboard, uh, is the latest posts. So some teachers do this more frequently than others. Some use this as their primary mode of communication where others utilize the email system or discussion forums. But if a teacher does post on their course page, you can actually see it here. So because Gideon is enrolled in multiple courses, we see a couple of messages from some different teachers. But this is a good way for you to have a sense of maybe what's going on in the course, if there's something interesting happening or if there's something being posted of note, you would see it as well. It's important to note that you actually cannot, as the parent, contact the teacher through this platform. If your child would like to contact their teacher, they can use the email tool that's built right into their course. We do always encourage the students to communicate on their own behalf with their teachers. However, if there's a pressing issue uh, or an extreme circumstance where you feel you need to contact the teacher, please contact our office. You can do so by emailing tech support at blytheacademyonline.com or you can call us at 519-204-6037 and we would be glad to discuss the issue with you and put you in contact with the teacher if need be. So that's it. This is a very brief overview of Brightspace for Parents. It is, in my opinion, a very useful tool Overall, this is a great opportunity for you to gain some insight into your child's course and their progress. Remember, if you need to see further details, it's best to ask your child to log in and show you. Thanks very much for listening.